With elections nearing, politicos are doing all they can to ensure they garner maximum votes. Some even don't mind taking a hint from rivals to get votes. SM Krishna has stirred up a controversy, telling Congress workers that they should work like RSS. SM Krishna also went to the extent of saying that it is the overconfidence in the Congress candidates uh, that can undo winning a seat. Well, in fact, SM Krishna was uh, campaigning for uh, the young candidate, Rizwan, from Bangalore Central Constituency. He was at uh, Shivaji Nagar, the former chief minister, however, batted for an RSS-like uh, workforce as he went on to state that uh, overconfidence by the Congress workers, or for that matter, within the Congress, could itself lead to their undoing. Congress now RSS RSS to Congress well, in fact, SM Krishna went on to state that uh, the Congress requires an RSS-like workforce. SM Krishna also went to the extent of saying that it is the overconfidence in Congress candidates that can undo winning a seat. This has stirred a controversy now, as let's not forget that BJP and the Congress are arch rivals. And um, the Congress has uh, now gone on to state that it requires an RSS-like workforce. My colleague Vargis joins us with more details on this. Well, Vargis, definitely quite uh, surprising. Uh, statements coming in from SM Krishna there. Yes, it is quite surprising, and especially during one of those campaigning sessions that was going on in the city, uh, especially for central uh, Bangalore constituency with uh, Rizwan. This is the comments that were made in during uh, uh, one of those meetings in Shivaji Nagar, uh, Nishita. And it is very interesting to note that uh, he made these comments, and he was probably referring to the discipline that is there in the RSS, and that how the Congress needs to, in fact, uh, the Congress party workers need to uh, have emulate that kind of a discipline and structuralism within the system so that... Uh, there can be effective campaigning. What he was also intending at saying that the RSS uh, workers were in fact doing it out of their own will and did not uh, uh, and did not expect anything that would come in a monetary benefit or benefit from being close to a leader. They were in fact looking at the benefit of the organization and that is the kind of spirit that has to be imbibed by Congress workers and they have to work in such a manner and then only can a particular candidate can in fact uh, uh, be, can find himself secure in a seat. What he also said is uh, Another point of uh, point of criticism was the fact that Congress at times had overconfidence in many places and thought that everything will happen according to the favor, which is what also which was one of the undoings that it will have when it comes to elections because the people can have their own opinions and the people can vote against the Congress also and therefore it has to guard against this kind of an overconfidence that it uh, it imbibes and therefore it has to be realistic and practical with the picture. He was also reiterating the fact that there needs to be a lot of discipline within the uh, party workers and only on the disciplined force can in fact uh, lead to an effective campaigning and effective resolution uh, to these elections and therefore uh, he was also uh, he was mostly harboring on the discipline factor of it uh, Nishita. Right absolutely and also considering that the Congress has been like the biggest uh, critique of uh, the RSS of uh, the kind of functioning of the kind of leaders that the RSS has uh, produced this comment can draw several uh, sharp reactions from within the Congress itself. Well, if you notice, uh, uh, Nishita, in fact, it was uh, Rahul Gandhi who said that it is the ideology of the RSS that led to the killing of Mahatma Gandhi. And here is uh, one of it, one of uh, the leaders uh, of the Congress, a stalwart, who had, in fact, is praising the organization. So clearly there will be a dilemma within the Congress to find out uh, how it is possible to accommodate S.M. Krishna's remarks within this context. And also he's addressing, uh, the present addressing and campaigning is happening uh, in Shivajinagar area, which has got a large minority population. So 
within the minority population also how the damage will be uh, done needs to be uh, waited and watched upon because this could in fact uh, uh, touch the wrong nerves in that area and also uh, Nechita, we must uh, uh, we must should also understand that uh, since they are arch rivals in terms of ideology also this kind of a praise uh, may not go down well with uh, a lot of uh, hardcore uh, congress leaders Absolutely. Thank you, Vargas, for joining us with all those uh, details. Well, there we have it. SN Krishna going on to make some rather eyebrow-raising statements there by going on to praise uh, the RSS and saying that the Congress should take inspiration from the RSS's style of functioning. <laughs> Prabhu